Hi there, in this video I will show you how to get the best HDR settings for your PS5 on any smart TV. Set up the room brightness. The first thing I want you to do is to adjust the brightness for your gaming room. This is so important if you want to play in a dark room or if you want to play in a bright room. Because in each scenario, these settings are completely different and they will look different to your eyes. And after that, you can adjust your TV brightness or backlight to your wish depending on the room brightness. Set up HDR on PS5. Head to the setting menu and then you need to scroll down and find screen and video. In video output, select HDR and put it on always on. I will talk about the third option later. After that, you need to select adjust HDR and we have three steps to adjust HDR. The first one is the maximum brightness of HDR in your TV. First of all, press down button until you see this symbol on your TV. After that, you need to press up button to get a brighter picture one step at a time you need to do this until you won't see the symbol anymore you can see i can't see it anymore and now it's time to press down button one time so you can barely see the symbol just remember you shouldn't be able to see this symbol easily it should be so hard to see it then press x to go to step two of three this time you need to do this again but because only a part of the screen is white it really depends on which kind of tv panel you are using for example if you have a oled or led with or without dimming zone it's really different but don't worry at all you just need to do the same thing here go up until it's not visible to your eyes and then you need to go one step down so you can barely see the symbol after that press x button and in step 3 of 3 there is something important because it's black level of darkest areas it really depends on your room brightness because it will be easier to see the dark symbol in a dark room that's why i told you if you are playing in a dark room make it dark already because in this step you can ruin everything in this step you need to go higher until you see the symbol then you need to go down step by step until you won't see it anymore and then go up one step to see it barely on your screen just remember you don't have to see the symbol easily in step 3 it should be really hard to see it on your screen now you can see my tv screen looks really different and it's actually based on my room brightness if you set them incorrect the tv picture can be washed out or you can have some issues like the bright areas are too bright and you can't find the details in bright areas or the dark areas are too dark or they are too bright you see everything that you shouldn't see or you can't see anything so you need to set them correctly. Now what is the difference between always on and on when supported? If you play older PS4 games or some games which they don't support HDR, when you select on when supported, it will turn HDR off if the game doesn't support HDR. But if you turn it always on, it will ruin non-HDR content. Also, there is one important tip. Some games doesn't have a good HDR. That's why I don't recommend you to use HDR on them. So before you play a game with HDR, I recommend you to test both SDR and HDR. And if the game looks better with SDR, you can simply play on that and you don't need to use HDR. Game HDR settings. Some games have in-game HDR settings like Call of Duty, FIFA, Tomb Raider and many other games like that. What you need to do is before you play a game go to the settings and find display or color settings. Then you need to set up the game HDR settings as well. HDR settings on your TV. Depend on your TV model, you may have some options when you play HDR content on your TV. What you need to do is to go to your TV settings and see which options you have. If you feel dark areas are not dark enough or they are bright, you can change gamma settings in your TV. It depends game to game because PS5 HDR settings will stay the same. Thank you so much for watching.